hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing good Whew, so excited to be facing the camera again if you're seeing my face for the first time hey how are you doing my name is victoria and i film from lagos nigeria and welcome to another video to my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please kindly subscribe to my channel okay click on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know whenever i upload another video okay thank you and we have a visitor here today <laughs> say hi to my visitor <laughs> okay without wasting much of your time let's get right into this video today i'll be um telling you guys what i didn't miss about nigeria if you have been on this channel you know i just got back from the uae so i had wanted to do this video for a long time i think i did the video but i didn't like it and i deleted it so now i said okay let me reshoot so I will be able to post it and I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Okay, so today I'll be telling you guys what I didn't miss about Nigeria. So I have like six things listed right here. So I'll be checking from those books to know the points. So let's get right in. The first thing I didn't miss about Nigeria is traffic. Yeah, I hate traffic so much. <laughs> like, I don't like for anything. I don't like it. Like, when I'm in traffic, like, my mood changes. Like, and anybody that does try to talk to me at that time, eh, I will not, like, I won't feel good. You know, that's how bad I hate traffic. I remember one time when I was serving. I was serving in Ogu State, and every weekend I used to come home to Lagos. Like that road is like, <laughs> and most times I usually leave home on Mondays. And you know, Monday traffic is not good at all. And also, imagine people that live on the mainland and um, work on the island. They will have to wake up very early, like four o'clock, four thirty, to meet up with them. Um, with their eight o'clock resumption time like is i don't know is it's too bad like seriously before they um get to work traffic i don't how do they even manage to even be active at work and not tired and after they close again by 5 p.m some people get home 10 p.m 11 p.m like the traffic is something else and i eat it so much so that is one thing i don't miss about nigeria that leads me to the second thing bad road bad road like constitutes to one of the things that causes traffic and you know i don't know it just makes the traffic bad and gives you body ache and everything but when you have a smooth ride you know you get home early, no, no, any hugu haga on the way, you know. You just go home smoothly and you're fine, you know. So, the next thing I don't miss about Nigeria is lights. Before I left Nigeria, lights were so bad, but now that I'm back home, I think the light is kind of better. I don't know if um, that is um, applicable to every area. But where I stay now, the light is very good, like very good. Like from morning till night, there can be light and they take it in the night. But I don't think it should stay up to an hour before they restore the light. The light is quite good now. But compared to the UAE where there is um, 24 hours power supply, you don't have to think that I have to charge my phone when there is light or something. The light is just there and you just enjoy the feeling that there is light and you don't have to worry that hey i have to plan 
um how to have a plan when i want to do this if you are using maybe a gas cooker to make your food i have to plan to cook when there is light i have to do this when there is light when in the ua it's not like that but here you know if your light is not stable you have to plan and work with the time with the time there is light you know so the next thing i'm gonna talk about is noise yeah noise in the sense that normally on the road car just do their own anyhow but the part i don't miss is the generator part where there is no light you know and maybe in your flat or your compound there is like four flat and everybody has to put on their gen at the same time you know it causes a lot of noise and everybody wants to do i pass my neighbor you know everywhere will just be noisy and so bad but over there in the uae there's nothing like that because there's 24 hours power supply you don't have to worry about having a generator or stuff like that you know but anyways <laughs> it is what it is so let me go to the next one that's the fifth one yeah i think so that's the fifth one which is um police harassment this one like even right now what is going on that every we are protesting about the police brutality brutality and sass and everything that's one thing i i don't like about nigeria and i did i did not miss it at all because the way the police harass people like the way they even talk to you in a disrespectful manner and because you are fine they feel that um you are not doing the right thing or because you dress a particular way so you are this particular person or if if me define kind of phone you use they will feel ah this person is doing yahoo this person is getting their money illegally and which is not so and even though i'm getting my money like why i don't know you don't have to harass people you don't know what they do because i'm carrying a laptop that means i'm doing an, an illegal business or the kind of phone i use i'm like fam it's not right it's not right and this is why everyone is protesting against it that no we don't want sas we don't want anything called sas let police brutality end yeah let it end that's what we want unlike in uae police don't come to harass you anyhow the way they will stop yourself in a respectful manner in a good way and they ask what you they want to ask from you and they go their way even maybe there is something happening in a house and you call the police the police comes settle what is there or if they need to take the people to the station they they will do that not going to the next house to see what is going on there is none of their business unlike police here in nigeria if there is a, maybe there is a fight in a street they'll come there the innocent people the people that cause the fight and everything they just pack everybody and go to the to their station like who does that i remember one time like that I um, in my mom's um, shop I went to church and I was coming back I, I went to the shop from church so as I, as I got to the shop immediately there was fight on that street and where my mom's shop is like outside there was a gate there so when the fight started and everything they locked the gate and everybody was inside you can imagine police came to the streets and they jumped the fence to the compound of the shop like i don't know how i don't i don't know how what is happening on the street is concerning inside a compound where there is houses and shops there i don't understand what they are looking for they had to jump the fence like i don't know someone in the right senses when something is going on on the street and you have to jump to somebody's face to look for what i don't know like this is like something i ate so much and i did not miss it
I don't miss that thing about Nigeria. And the last thing I will be talking about is public transport. Like back in UAE, transportation is like there is easy access to transportation. I can just come out of my house and stay in the front of my house and enter a bus or take a taxi. But here, you have to enter this one to go to this one to go to that one and it's usually stressful, you know, but over there, inter um, sorry, I said internet, public transport spot is easy and it's not like they will act the price because of something that is happening because of or that that is happening. No, the amount to where you are going is the same amount no matter what is happening maybe there's rain or no rain or anything well there's no rain, rain don't usually fall like that in the uae but even when rain, fall, rain falls the price of um, the transport is the same nothing is changing it you know but here in nigeria when rain falls the transportation will be high, high when something happens when there is a fight when there is traffic when there is that like there is price change of public transport but this is nigeria is our country and we pray for change and everybody is fighting for change right now and we pray that our leaders give us a listing year and correct everything that is happening in this country so with this i've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy this video if you are not in nigeria let me know in the comment section what you miss about nigeria or you just came back like me and you have one of the two things you miss about you didn't miss about nigeria tell me in the comment section okay yeah i'm waiting for you in the comment section thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe don't forget to subscribe guys and like this video share with your friends and i'll see you in my next video bye guys